Let's see if it now works fine. Hello. Hello. Okay, that's that's working fine. Lee, I don't think you guys hear the music. Oh, you guys should be able to hear. Okay, but uh, what we'll be doing today is just a little random world, just a little basic random world, and thinking. Pain. Uh, Dot net. I installed it, I know I installed it, but some stuff has changed, so I need to redo most stuff like that. That's a little bit annoying. So let's see. Um, what I'm kind of thinking about is just doing a little room like this. Just put the door here. So we'll need basically a door tile, some wall tiles, uh, and slatted wall tile just a table with a PC on it a couch back chair to sit on just trying to list, get through all the items that I would need to model for this plant for in the corner a window over here also a window in here a little room uh, hang out in basically then I'm gonna make a VR chair um, do I need anything more? so just to see so I guess this is I want to say like 5 meters 7 here is three yeah looks correct it's four this is whatever the slanting is 45 degrees so let's make a listing everything we need uh, okay so what we need is a spot maybe that this can be a bed bed instead of a bench it's like one of those very little standard uh, rooms uh, then we need a uh, wall tile on meter a wall Window. Forty-five degree. But window, because on a wall, tile, meter. Get a door. Key. This a door. I think fits within one wide. In VR, it should be able to fit nicely. Let's see. Um. Then let's take a look. Um. Anything else? This room will still be like empty. I think I also want so a PC. So what I mean by that is PC. Top. Um, keyboard mouse. Now we need a
my face is overlit. Which is kind of annoying. Okay, my mic is also doing strange stuff. No, I don't want it to. Uh, but that will should be fixed when we go back to Blender. Blender and Unity is a lot more quiet with the eyes. Hey, need the Levy. I mean, I'm okay, I guess. <laughs> Uh, I have been bad at uh, work was annoying, very annoying, uh, so yeah, a lot has happened at work last week, week or two, I just want to do something different now, something random, stream, because I have also not been streaming for a while, yeah. Ah, uh, now wall tiles, bed plants, keyboard and mouse, we also need a screen. Any other items that you would think would fit in a room? Yes, headband. I like headband. Anything else that you would think would fit in a room? Like a small, uh, how do you call it? A student dorm. Oh, trash bin. A, a statue? In, in, in a, a, like, an actual student dorm thingy. A statue? I wouldn't think there would be a statue in there. I mean, a small one, yeah. I mean, I want to keep it a little bit simple. Statues are not super simple to model, let me say it like that. Um, like a, a generic item that you would have in like one of those student dorms. <laughs> yeah, clothes everywhere. Maybe like a a little. Um, that's a good one actually. A. Um, uh, board? Is that like that? No, it's a, a dress cabinet. Dressing cabinet. Let's just make it somebody who actually cleans his environment, you know, instead of not clean his environment. Not with so many clothes around. Ah. Uh, also want an outlet. I will save this. Yeah, I was also thinking maybe a laptop. Um, Kitana is actually a good one. Just on, on, on the side standing. Not a bad idea. Um, then I think that's more than enough for me to make and to fill out your room with a little room. Um, so yeah, then we go to Blender. And start on the things. A lot of things. See, just uh, I want to make the room kind of first, so I, I mean I know that the, the size is gonna be easy to, to do. Uh, let's see. So add cube. Add it mode. Thank you. 
Uh, and let's see, right? So if we move this over to zero, our room is around three meters high. So this is three meters. I guess. That's fine. Three meters. A uh, wall is only like this way. Ah, oh, damn it! Didn't take that last point. Okay, so this is a wall section. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna open up Unity with a new project. Uh, actually, get in here. So that I can instantly put this stuff inside of Unity. Don't have to do stupid things. this thing put it out of the way uh yeah object mode edit mode um and then needed one with a hole in it let's see uh If we do that and then we this one, basically delete this face. Oh, not vertices. It's a bad idea. Uh, delete the face. This face also delete. We can move this down to metro zero. And we have the base for the door. Uh, and then Unity opened up. Okay, and then I can make here uh, models. Save it and here. It's good enough. Now what? Okay, that is strange that plant files can suddenly it sees it, so. Uh, I mean, I'm finding it strange that it cannot see anything. Either way, I need to export it anyway, so that's fine. And it's totally fine. Uh, what we also need on here is the doorknob. So let's see here, doorknob. Around 
dead, I think. And then we can play this part just a little bit. Okay, now we have the doors. Zero. Let's take this uh, ring. This is wall. This will be a window. This will be wall. This is the door. It's a wall. Okay, now we need to take the door. Door. Okay, and now this is a window. Go to edit mode. Uh, insert. Okay, and then. bit bigger up I'll squash it a little bit that then we can make a little insert that will be a window it's all very simple currently because I'm just modeling out the basics. Now we can start to put it together. And uh, this is zero, zero, zero. And what I want to do is make it so that. That mode. Like this side. Basically, just that way um, the only thing that I'm if the about is that here you see that it connects up like that but here it does not so I basically want it to continue like this I'm just gonna eye it. I mean, I could do it better, but eh, fine. Uh, we also wanted a window in this. Uh, now that I think about it, this wall was a really nice wall to put a window on. Uh, but I'm sure that we have it. so it's just a basic one. Just making this a little bit modular, that uh, we I can maybe reuse it later on. And also so that it goes a little bit quicker with making it. Um, normally this phase we can inset it. And I definitely want on this one to be something like that. That. Just this face. Insert it. Like that. Okay. That should be enough for 
most of this. This is a wall. Zoom in. Zoom in. Wall. Did it not find it? No, then we'll export it. Models, maybe this. Yeah, it will be able to import. And uh, the nice thing about it is that if I import this and I actually go take a look at these, these are um, actually individual pieces. So. If I quickly delete this and uh, uh, unpack this, then the pivot is the same. The pivot is basically correct on them, but they have to correct. So that's nice. C. Key. Um, then for the flooring. Make it here. Just gonna use a plane. Same for the roof. And three meters. Uh, I'm gonna re rotate. That's 190. Now I have the top and floor. This is 10 meters by 10 meters, so I don't really need to worry about anything. Ugh, I hate the light flickering. Sorry about the light flickering. We do anything about it. I hate it. Uh, what? Did it, yeah, actually. Radiation. It's the light settings. Also, uh, screen and empty call. It's it needs to say of organization. This is the. Maybe this is the. Uh, or floor. This is the roof. Okay. Then then, uh, we have this that gets in here. What did I not place these? No. Place at the correct position. Probably because the room is not at the correct position. That's why. And uh, also needs to be at zero, zero, five, three. That should line up nicely. So it does. Okay. This I can unpack completely. Door. Then can go. 45 to That's the door. Is that here in my life? Uh, and it's actually minus 90. It's inwards. It's the wall. Be rotating this uh, 
180 because the pivot point is there and now like this that will all connect nicely up or then on the outside I kind of want it uh. Uh, minus 20 like that so this will normally give us the uh, I might make the room bigger in a little bit we'll see with the props that we put inside of it but I kind of want to get rid of the lighting here Uh, and for that, I need to see if I set it. Let's see, children. It's automatically baking. The sun. I do want it to bake. How much I want to make? Should not take that long. Uh, although the. As priority is for you, I don't want to go this view. Yeah, it should be very, very dark. Also, I need to unwrap this in a better way. I mean, uh, I think I'm actually going to use Unity's unwrap for this. For the reason that it's a little bit better, uh, I'm gonna also put it on my GPU. Bake. Shouldn't take that long. Otherwise, preparing the bake. It's just I like it more when Unity creates the thing, the UVs, because. I can do it myself by hand, but in this case we want to go a little bit quick. And I'm also thinking uh, I'm gonna be using mainly flat coloring on most of it. Yeah, this is a way quicker build. Um, and when you're doing flat coloring, it's actually fine to. Okay, my unity is not liking something. Definitely not liking something. What it is, is I don't know. <laughs> Quickly gonna look it up because I don't like it in any way, shape, or form. Really don't like it in any way, shape, or form. Uh, and this is some things that I always do. Uh, like it ain't. Okay, so on my camera, increasing the need clipping plane. 
Ah, yes, okay. Yes, that helps. That helps a ton. Okay. Okay, that, that's nice. So yeah, normally if I have working with Avis, then I do have that on. Uh, also this, uh, I just quickly want to switch so it's casting shadows, but it's not blocking it. So what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to duplicate it. I'm going to put it zero rotation, zero rotation. Because that's our roof one. Yeah. Okay. A little bit of for the reason that we want the texture on this side but we still want it to be basically shaded dark so if i now generate the lighting should not take that long yep it doesn't we still have a little bit of light leakage it's not that much that's all fine a little bit of looking outside too. Uh, yeah, no, for the rest, light speak well. That's all fine. Uh, and then also, let's quickly take. Yeah. I think it'd be light map settings. Uh, Park margin. Layer. Pixels. I should come later. Just so that there's a little bit more play space for them. So I have light less. So I have less bleeding of light like this. Coming through like this. That should be a lot better if I do this now. I mean, it's less efficient than uh, packing uh, the areas, but your lights will definitely be looking way better. So yeah, that's one of the advantages. Also, the door handle yeah, is on this side. Okay, that's fine. Uh, also, I will be placing a light in here. Let's make lights. And also one for the walls. And I will place everything from walls in there. And then lights. Let's create a white light. Which we will put there. Um, yeah, somewhere over there. Good enough. Good enough. Uh, let's make it a baked point light with art shadows um, which I guess I can make it okay I guess I can make it all it uh, yeah I won't make it like just a little bit or will we go to better? Make it a war room. Like that. If I now quickly take that, take that bit. So, doing the baking is really quick. I'll go to a lit room <laughs> instead of a dark room just because of one light. I might change that one to like five. Four meters so that it just reaches the room instead of. Ah, let's say five. And it reaches the entire room. I mean, not that it can reach the outside of the room anyways, so... 
Uh, that's fine. Okay, then we'll quickly go back and see if we can make some other stuff, like a bed, for example. Oop. Uh, let's. Ah, uh, I added that in here. That's not what I wanted to do. Go to object mode, add a new mesh, a cube. And then move this over to what else that's out of the way. And we have this cube. Um, how wide are beds? Good question. Good question. Oh. So beds this one fifty. Uh this is one oh no wait actually. Now I need to check something. If I create a cube I know that these cubes are one because I think the cube from five. Yeah, the walls are two meter wide, actually. So if that is two meters, and this is four. Perspective, people. Perspective. Pardon, these are way too high. Okay. Uh, one point eight. Yeah, it's way too big. So, how? What I'm now doing is this is the height of a one point eight. I've uh, so one point eight. So this is a character. So with this I see that like the walls are way too tall, way too tall, and my like basically my scale is off. Um, like I like the layout of the room, but the scale is off totally. So now that I see that, um, although this is on three meters though. So I guess there is just so much space left. This is scaling them off. I mean, maybe then I will just move that window a little bit down. The slanted window. So that's the one that's annoying me currently. Down a little bit. Okay. And then we this here. Uh, edit mode. Let's put it at uh, zero. Meter high. Okay, like that. 
middle, middle. Touch it. Okay, middle, middle. Uh, now what I want to do is this entire side. Uh, extrude it out. Z of one. So that's no one meter tall. Okay. Uh, I want all of these faces action. That's tall. Should have done this separately. I actually don't want to go to go to like 0.9 or 0.8. 0.8 might look better. And then also on this, I actually want to select the entire plane. This looks like a couch, but it is a bed, or it will be a bed. This tree. Next route. Nine. Nine. Can't type. Um. And then the easiest way for me to clean this up is just by selecting all the lines that I anymore spacing them there you go and now we have a clean couch slash bed that i can just quickly this up by six to six five That's actually fun. Actually, gonna do that simultaneously. Most stuff that I'm doing here now has specific reason of ordering stuff like that. It's just because now, if I now go and look inside, right, and I go select this face here, you can see how that face is overlapping with the other face on the other side. So that is something that I was trying to avoid. But with this one, because of the how the operations went, it's really hard to do that. Uh, but I made it myself, harder myself. But what I can just do is delete these faces. And now this is basically a singular face here. To add, what I need to do is make a cut here. Goes all the way around. Clean this up say that uh, this and this point is to last hurts to last and now 
these here should be able to be filled quite nicely. If you want to clean it up a little bit further, that's all fine. I mean, if you really want to clean it up, then I would put some other stuff together. Yeah, no. Okay, so this is the bed. a little bit of five okay so this I now want to be at uh, one minus one yes one um, and then for this what are we gonna could have done this or taken the other one basically at the same time but hey whatever could have taken the bed first made the table and then made the bed actually I'm already gonna can add these later anyways I wanted to have them because I'll always re at them. Nine. And then we can just these and then extrude them to zero. And now we have table. Next up, what's next up? Oh yeah, chairs. Chairs are also easy. It's also keep most stuff you can start if it's simple like this. You can just start from a cube. stuff you can there's some stuff you can't but it doesn't come up very often to be honest just you need to look at the shape and see what you need to start with and chairs I kind of want to make them like 0.5 by 0.5 so we're gonna Now there's point. Thank you. And actually, I can take them all five. That there we go. Now that does the same.
pretty fine And we extrude it here. Okay, that was a strange extrusion. And on the back plane, also we that up to a pile of one. That's fine. That's a chair. I'm actually gonna move it up the chair. What I can see here. Uh, I'm not really liking the positioning. Yep, I opened one. Because I'm looking like at the table and everything and scaling it off of that. Okay. And then we go back to this. That's the chair. Okay. Now, of course, why I'm placing the table here now is so that I have a reference the table itself to as a working space, basically. Um. I will start with a cube of 0.5 Let's first make uh, Let's make the keyboard. It's actually good. Most of this I'm eyeballing the hands just because it need to go with what, you, what looks nice and what you like. Yeah, that's one of the main things about modeling is that you just need to uh, go with what you like that it looks like. And you need to continue with that. Look at it like this. Okay. Select it all. Scale it like that. Can scale it. Get in and get more. Let me just leave it like this. Now what I kind of want to do is select all of these
Okay, that's what I wanted. Now I can quickly. Okay, no. Two. Can I do I have offsets? Please, no. Uh, individual. Yes, that's what I wanted. Now there's individual tiles basically, so that looks now like more like a keyboard. And I'm instantly gonna, because I'm still here, assign these to a another vertex group. Assign these to that one. Like reddish, so that I, yeah, the, that we actually have those separate because otherwise it's going to be hard to distinguish those, and now we can easily select them. Uh, so that's a little bit better to work with then. And, and I also gonna need to optimize the bottom that. That's always going to lay on something. So what I'm going to do, because it's a lot of polys basically for a rather small item, um, is I'm just going to remove the entire button face. So that's a lot better then. Okay, now for the object mode, uh, let's add actually uh, uh, edit mode, select it all. Let's actually move it back to somewhat centered. You never really want uh, objects that are not like centered around the specific pivot to exist in your world. So yeah, that's one thing that you need to look into when you're modeling stuff. Uh, you keep the, the center point basically at a rotation point that you can easily rotate your objects around. Uh, I can show that for example with the walls here, if I go to one of these walls and I rotate it around, then you will see that it rotates around the center of the wall. But if I put it on pivot, you also see that it flips like this. So that's one thing that you can easily work with. So for example, if you actually make a door itself, make sure that the pivot is for example on the rotation point of the door. Um, you make it very easy to rotate the door and do stuff with the door. By the way, this door is your box. Okay, um, then. Kinda need a screen. Five, yes, I don't um, everything is uh, uh, screens look You will obviously me use the this tool for adding new lines. I very much like it. And it's an amazing tool to add lines with. Uh 
Watch out. Scale this in a bit. And then I can make this extended. This one, uh, extended up. Words. Right, that's it. Get like that. Add a cube. If you want to know the, the, the middle of a surface, it's really easy to know because that's the middle point of a surface. Oh, I think we can just scale this up. That. As it will look out of proportion. a lot better screen compared to table. I might even make the keyboard a little bit bigger. So to be honest, uh, I mean this is not to me the store. I think that's awesome. That's a pretty wide screen to be honest. I really need to be honest. Also, I think tables are normally not up on meter high, but like 80, something like that. I think they're normally one meter. Okay. We can take a size as another look. But try to base your sizes off of real life things. That's one thing I'm gonna say. Try to do that. Um, now, let's save this and actually... Save it file export X Okay. Now um now we can add the table. So we create an ample empty decor decorations. Um, and then we create a cube. Very, very small. Very, very small. Why are the walls so big, but then... Ah, because they have a scaling of 100. That is good to know, because uh, then I need to... Just apply that. And then uh, scale this... Also... Uh... Why are the... I'm a little bit confused by this one. Bat now also humongous? Yes, the bat is now also humongous. Just click that then. But I'm just... 
quite stupid is that these things have scaling on them. from the same file. How do? Oh, I see. I see why. It's okay because they were scaled inside of the... It's a lot better. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Can put that bad. Here. Yes. That bat looks kind of correct. Maybe it can be a little bit longer. Much more bat, to be honest. Is it a decently sized one? Uh, this is the bed. And then the table will have some stuff on it. That's for uh, if you're doing the processing so that it knows that it's a static object. Uh, makes a lot easier. So I'm quickly gonna give these objects here. Mesh colliders. Um, they don't bump into them. Or yeah, they can bump into them actually. And then this is the keyboard. Again. Again. Rename this to be. How is this called? A uh, screen. Yes, the screen. That, that screen is not proportionally sized, it is just wrong. I think the keyboard also, but the only way to really check it is if you go actually into VR chat and check the sizes for yourself. It's the only way to know it because, for example, my Avi is, is a chibi Avi basically, she's only like 150 centimeters or even less. 40, 130, so I, for me it's a little bit annoying and sometimes I need to switch Avis to have a more normally sized avatar. That's the way. So let me quickly generate my lighting. See how this looks. So this thing is not... Uh, of not any shadows. This thing, I mean, it's dynamic also, so. So, 
actually and now you can definitely see that we still have a little bit of light beating on like object like this but i think that's it's pretty okay on that project actually like there's still some light bleeding this can be fixed if you actually go to your um, light maps yourself you can put enough space in between them and then everything should be fine um or i mean there are multiple ways to fix it so i think it's an easiest way to fix it they definitely not like it's gonna make it funny Even then, you still have some light bleeding issues. As you can see, still have some. But mainly, it's fine. My padding thing, this is uh, actually causing it. Okay, there's some medals. I think I can check it. Right here. So yeah, as you can see, there's still like overlap of objects. Oh, and other areas. Unity's, uh, how Unity does it is not superb. Let me say it like that. Sometimes it's late. Light data is a little v v. Sometimes, <laughs> very sometimes, it's uh, don't really like it. I hate. I think if you put more effort in it, then uh, it can actually be better. Like if you actually do not low resolution, but like medium. Although your builds are gonna take longer. I do think it's gonna at least it should make a difference. It should make a difference. <laughs> Uh, it does not like small objects, but I know that. This is the end of the Either way, this is fine. Um, so yeah, now how to basically if you have this done. More than this is isn't really. Uh, how to set this up as an Yarchop world is actually very easy. I, I can actually jump in practically almost now. Uh, I'll quickly come and save this and scenes as, uh, as I like to do with my scenes. Generate lighting. Oh, 
also a quick way thing to do is if you check the inspector here make sure you enable connection it will save you on uh, memory but now you can even take this down to 1k if you want but i don't think this is gonna matter i think it's now gonna matter yeah so yeah just make sure that you also compress these in the shadow mask just compress it, it becomes way smaller Probe too. not that this is big oh it's a scene is it Sample scene, actually. Actually, it doesn't do anything because it's already pre -cast. I think this one does do something. Yes, this does do something. Yes. Do anything? Yes. Uh, because it's already 28 by 28. Uh, but it's just a little bit of stuff. And then the, I can import VR chat. So, always when you're working on this, import VR chat. Ah, uh, pop, 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 pop. That is VR chat. So if you go to VR chat and then log in, let me show you this. You have then VR chat if you're logged in and downloads. You have this decay right here. So that's what this decay does. The avatar is decay, so you can quickly download it. I'm just gonna put it. That's fine. And I'm gonna import it. Why are why are the Unity packages not registered with me? What Unity? What? <laughs> okay, then I need to do it with the import uh, section. If you have this issue, then you just need to do the import. Normally, you can double click it. Or drag it onto Unity itself and it will actually import the package. Now we say import. And this will give us access to some VRChat stuff. But there is still a lot more to do. It just I want to check out the scale of some of the items and just show you. I think we'll work on this a little bit further to the next one. Just so you guys have something. This can easily become a nice little chill room for like two to three people, three to four people maybe. Normally rooms would be bigger, way bigger than this. Like normally you have multiple rooms and everything else. Because sometimes these small rooms can be sort of fun to explore. Because there could be a lot in this world. It could be an escape room mask. There could be a, like a hell of a lot hidden.
depends all on, on what you want to do with uh, Udon. So yeah. Come on, we are chat this SDK, you can do it. Doesn't take that long to go in for that. VRC should be imported. Should be. Don't know if it is. Oh, it's importing. Delete all packages because it has added some packages just for future sake, as I remember correctly. My PC does not like it being importing, doesn't like it importing, or if um, like a, a render like that. And then do you run assets? Yes, yes, yes. Prefabs, VRC worlds, just drag it in. Easiest thing that you can do. And then you can place this object that you have basically. You can place it at the door. This one is at least blank. Place it at the door. Here, I'm gonna move this out of the way. Uh, also, move this by 180 so it's pointing in this direction. So I think that's the because this is a spawn location. Uh, you can always see the spawn. <coughs> <coughs> These are the spawn locations for if somebody falls off the map. If the spawn orientation is uh, a player with uh, spawn points, that's actually what I want. And then the spawn order is random and changes random one of these lists. Uh, you can have camera if somebody falls out of the world that's the minimum height uh, the, yeah minimum maximum height that they can fall basically and then what they need to do with objects what the hell just happened pretzel is dying Holy Moses. Why are you dying, Pretzel? Why are you dying? Okay, 
is it only pretzel or is it also tube? Otherwise, I just put it on and write sound playlist. Nope. <laughs> Something happened. I hope it's not my voice also, because that would be bad. Uh, let's me check. Let me check. Uh... Ah, that fixed it. Okay. Still need to restart my PC. I have installed something I need to restart it. Yep, that fixed it. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, but you know, that will do that. Uh, Unity version will be changed. Dynamic materials. So fine. Uh, how to add a mirror. Mirrors are very easy. Just drag in the mirror prefab. Have a mirror. In this world, I'm really not worried about mirrors. Because I can easily place a mirror like right over here. And because this world is so small, uh, I'm really not worried also about leaving the mirror on, even if it's a full mirror. Normally you don't do this, normally you create toggles for this. But I know that maximum amount of people that will be joining here is like five people. It's, it's, this room is not big enough for more. <laughs> really small. Um, so yeah, it's just a band system, avatar pedestals. Most of it is already in here, like pretty much simple. Chairs is also in here. They can already do a lot of stuff. Uh, just by this and just importing stuff. Uh, technically, these assets, instead of making them yourself, you could get them from somewhere else. Uh, make sure you've paid for them if you need to pay for them. That's something I'm gonna say though. Uh, now for the rest, we should be able to now go to this splash screen, splash screen, and then the control panel. You need to sign in. And then the first thing that you need to do with the SDK is if you like you start on this page and then builder, set up your layers, set up your collision matrix, and then you should be fine. Uh, I am on 32 and I'm gonna switch back to 31 because that is something that I did wrong. Uh, hub. Because I already have the latest version of Unity installed. But we're not on that version. We're with this version. Switching minor versions you can just do. Like min minor versions like that. That are not upgrading. Doesn't really matter. Unity. If it's... Or th these are minor versions. Upgrading minor versions are, are should not be any problems. Minor versions could be a problem, major versions are a problem. <laughs> uh, no way more than enough that those upgrades can sometimes take a week to do, depending on what you have. In VR chat, not as much, but in, in actual pro, uh, projects, yeah, sometimes they take up to a week to upgrade. It's kind of annoying. Uh, I think I. Opening? 
Yes, it's opening. Let's take a look. Animace is also running quite heavily on my desktop. Not liking that. Should get a streamer PC. Just streams for me. Instead of that, this PC needs to do it both. Would be better. Be better. Um, now. Now it's all fine. And now what we can do, just to quickly test it, is just build and test. CP will definitely not like this. It should be fine, it's a small world, so it should be fine. Yeah, it's not. My CP is not liking this. I think this might be one of the smallest worlds that I've made. So, yeah, as you can see, this. Door is too big, door is too big, that's definitely true. I think this is pretty much fine. Um, the screen is too small. The room size is big enough. This bed is definitely made for me. <laughs> uh, I would make the bed a little bit longer if like, I would make it like, go all the way here. Uh, but yeah, the table is I think big enough. It's the screen and the keyboard might be a little bit bigger. Overall size of the room is all fine. Rest is all fine. You can see now because I put the uh, ah I'm I'm missing I'm missing a collider there. That that's clear. These don't have colliders. This has colliders. This all has colliders. This has colliders. Yes, it's just this wall that does not have a collider. So yeah, and then a Unity, if you click on it, you probably will see that it uh, does not have a collider. It's a collider. You can make a convex, actually. It will optimize a little bit, but I mean, this is cube anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All the rest, I did add a collider, but not on that one. Uh, then, also something I'm gonna learn you guys quickly is if you go here and you search for builds, Builds. Uh, but no. It, what is it then? It's uh, bup, bup, bup. it's a preview package. So enable preview package, and then I think if you then type in bolts, see it. Yes, the Bolt Report Inspector. This is an amazing tool. I mean, this world is already very small. But I, I think this isn't the kilobytes in size. But still, like, there's still a lot. Something. I really didn't like that. Also, to fix that, this normally it's saving, uh, but that currently broke that. Okay, yeah, sometimes the mirrors just do that. Don't know why. Sometimes they just do that. You become entirely white. I mean, they're, they're still in a bolt, they're actually still fine. Just sometimes they do that. Um, if we then go to open loss build reports and if we then go to inspector, you will see the amount of total size and your source assets. So here you can see that, for example, in those something kilobytes, there is some stuff 
so this light map uh i don't think it's included because it's way more than the amount of kilobytes i think main stuff is this uh, reflection probe actually which we need to it's on 50 it doesn't go down but yeah like this world is already the optimized but normally you can then see if you open the bolt reports and you can always check it back here the bolt reports you can then check what is all inside of your bolts and like that you can actually see what is taking up a lot of space and in this it's nothing literally it's nothing um there will be sometimes multiple of something but you should be able to easily get the big files out of here and lower them and do stuff with them uh, do note that even small udon scripts are still in the 16 ki uh, kilobytes i really want them to optimize it but they haven't yet so yeah I mean, it's not that they haven't optimized it. Like, it Udon is pretty nice, but it's just if you have an empty Udon script, it is like 11 kilobytes or like 10 kilobytes in, in size. And I've optimized a world I can actually show you to the point that most of the kilobytes go to uh, this one. Uh, it, most of the kilobytes go to. Uh, udon scripts instead of the rest of the assets which i would say are bigger <laughs> uh, even the text within the udon some of those udon scripts is less than the <laughs> what the script is actually requiring so it's a little bit strange that it would be so big uh, even like the instructions listing is, is like lower in kilobytes so they i think need to take a look at how they store their serialization like these serialized programs how how these assets are, are formed so that they can we can get lower because if you have like a fuck ton of unknown scripts i can see that go up like through the roof very quickly um ah oh, and my pc won't like that streaming and having to use the project open because we like that also still have vr chat running in the background oh <laughs> also let's uh don't save i don't need this anymore i have the blender still so yeah if i show this so yeah, this is not obvious this is one of my plots that i have this is a cube Speciality, sure. Very nice world, in my opinion. My home world. Um, there's an okay amount of stuff in here, uh, as you can see. A lot this mirror, pause and pause, quick video, music player, um, audio visualizer, and dark mode. Uh, now, if I go here to our build reports and actually check the latest one, I think the latest one is from like. By August, August 22nd, you see that's 112 kilobytes. Now, the biggest stuff in here is the dot assets. And I was like, oh, okay, what? So, while some of the assets are really small, like, this 11 kilobytes, this thing here, if I actually check from what this is, uh, I think I can, if I quickly go here to my um, script, no, this is open sharp, put on, uh, put on behaviors, set video URL, I think it's a set video URL, yeah, this is a set video URL. Uh, if I show you the script, uh, that's it. <laughs> I mean, it's practically nothing in there. It's just video players set on uh, on click, set the URL, met the URL. Um, so even if you see the compiled version of this, which is 
this. It's like a couple of instructions. Uh, with clicks and then you push the, the, the contents and it's just everything else. Uh, just to push there. It's very small. This is already very small. Now, like, and this is the disassembly then. Which is super small in my opinion. Uh, or it could be super small. It's like that push another value. Push that could be converted also to the integers. It's only these need to be strings because it's external and then jump and direct. But either way, that could all be like made very small. Now, if I then go take a look at the serialized program and actually show this in, in Explorer. And actually go take it at, at the asset itself and just open it in, in notepad like uh, this is the byte string so i'm like this here is all unity stuff just your serialized program byte string optimize this unity come on or vrchat come on i know you guys can optimize this so that it doesn't use this much on such a small thing. I know you guys can do that without breaking anything. Because this is the main meat of this text asset. And I know it gets like converted a little bit within Unity, but it's this world at the moment is getting limited and kilobyte size because I want this world to also always be instant load which is practically all the ideas with the kilobyte space that we have here but I know I will have this problem in the future that I will have like actually big uh, systems running then those won't be kilobyte files anymore I think those will be megabyte files I won't, I'm not going to say gigabyte files, because one script that's a gigabyte long, it won't happen. It's probably going to be all together like gigabytes. And, and very big Udon worlds. So I'm like... Huh? It's a little bit strange. Okay. Don't know how the Udon backend actually works, we need to take a look at that. Uh, because we can kind of see how it's serializes how they would be doing it 